I created a one-person business that allowed me to quit my job, live a life of freedom, and make more money than I ever did working for somebody else. In this series, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to do exactly the same thing. The first question to ask yourself is, what have you accomplished? What have you accomplished in your life? What have you accomplished in your career, in school, with your health, with your fitness? Have you gotten over any addictions? Have you gotten over mental health issues? Have you raised beautiful children? Have you improved your appearance? Have you learned how to play an instrument? Have you gotten some sort of award or recognition? What is it that you have accomplished in your life? Whatever it is, chances are there's somebody else out there who would like to be able to accomplish the same thing. Second question, what have you been through and survived? Have you been through a divorce? a bankruptcy, a death of a loved one, a depression, abuse, addiction, crime, or bankruptcy, a disability, a disease. What have you been through that was difficult for you, but you found a way to push through and you're still standing? Chances are there's somebody out there right now who's going through the exact same thing that you're going through and would love to have your insight and what you know from being coming out the other side. Question number three, what have you helped other people with? Have you helped other people get over something or have a result that they want to have in their life? Have you helped a friend to get into a great career or get into a great relationship or get in shape or do something that made their life substantially better? Your answers to all three of these questions should give you some great ideas of what might work that you could teach people that they'd be willing to pay you for. Now, step four, I call the thousand dollar test. You ask yourself, would somebody be willing to spend at least a thousand dollars to get the result that I would promise them? And there are a few questions that'll help you figure this out. Number one, would this thing either make or save $1,000 or more, right? So if you could teach somebody to get into a better career that pays them $10,000 more, right? Would they be willing to pay $1,000 in order to make $10,000 a year more, right? Of course, if you could teach them how to make a business, if you could teach them how to avoid lawsuits that would cost them $50,000, right? If you could directly make or save them more than $1,000, then clearly your knowledge is worth at least that. Now, if it doesn't make or save money directly, think about if it makes or save money indirectly. So for example, if you can teach somebody to lose weight, how much money are they gonna save on healthcare expenses as a result of losing weight? Or if you show somebody how to have a better marriage, how much money are they gonna save in lawyer fees for getting divorced, right? Chances are there's some way that what you have to offer, if you offer some transformation, it's going to save them money or it's going to make them money in some way that's not totally direct, like, hey, I'm going to show you how to make a higher paycheck. Right. Another example is I have a student that teaches people exercises to be a couple of inches taller. Well, there are studies that show that taller people get paid more, right? And so probably that's not directly what he is advertising because people aren't thinking, oh, if I'm taller, I'll get paid more. But if you can show, hey, the average, like every inch of height gets you paid an extra $50,000 on average over your lifetime, right? Would you pay $1,000 to make an extra 50000 Well, of course you would. And then another great question to ask is, do people pay more than $1,000 to get the same result, right? And that could be the same result through a similar method as you. It could be through coaching, right? If there are coaching courses out there already that people are already paying at least $1,000 for, but it could be other ways to get the same result. Like, for example, if you can show somebody how to lose weight, how much do people pay for liposuction? right? A lot more than a thousand bucks. Or if you could teach people to get over an addiction, well, how much do people pay for rehab, right? There's other ways of getting to the same result and you can compare, see how much the problem is worth to people to solve based on how much they pay for those other methods. Now, if the answer to any of these questions is yes, then the product is definitely worth at least a thousand dollars and you can be confident that it will sell. Now, step five is to niche down, right? You don't want to try to sell to everybody because if you try to sell to everybody, you're going to sell to nobody, right? So you want to figure out who is your ideal client, right? Who is it that you can definitely help? Like what kind of person are you confident that you can definitely help? Who can you relate to? And finally, who can afford to pay you, right? Because if you're going to teach people that live in a van down by the river that don't have a penny to their name, well, they might be interested, but they're not going to be able to pay you. So that's a consideration as well. 
And there are a few things specifically that you might want to look for. Now, you don't have to tick off all of these boxes, just the ones that are relevant. But the first one is demographics. What is their age range? What is their sex? What is their race? What is their location? That's their demographics. Second criteria is their life situation. So are they a parent? Are they married? What's their career situation? Third is psychographics. That's what are they interested in? What is their belief systems, right? Are they a Christian? Are they following the paleo diet? Are they introverted? Do they struggle with rejection? You know, what is specific to their mind and to their mindset and belief system? You know, what is specific to their mind and their personality and the things that they like to do? Now, this part is important. You only want to pick the ones that are relevant. I see a lot of people that try to niche down, but they choose niches that are irrelevant and it just sounds stupid. So let me give you examples. Well, let's say you have a weight loss offer. Well, you can teach men how to lose weight. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense because because men are physically different than, than women, so it makes sense that you would focus specifically on men or on women. Well, what if you teach white people how to lose weight? Well, that doesn't really make a lot of sense because losing weight for white people is pretty much the same as losing weight for black people or Asian people or whatever else. What about losing weight for Christians? Well, that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense because, again, Christians lose weight the same way that Muslims and Hindus and Jews lose weight. That said, you can use the Christian angle in your marketing. That might work. Like, you can have an ad that says, hey, you know, once I realized I was 50 pounds overweight and the Bible says that I'm supposed to treat my body as God's temple and I realized I was failing that and I was failing as an ambassador of Christ to the world, etc., etc., right? That might resonate with Christians specifically, but you're not niching down to Christians as hey, I can only help Christians lose weight, or I'm focusing on helping Christians lose weight. You're just using a message that appeals specifically to Christians, which is a little different. Okay, here's another one. How about business owners? How I help business owners to lose weight. Well, does that make sense? Yeah, it kind of does make sense, actually, because business mo owners probably have a different schedule than people that work nine to five. They might be busier. Um, they might be stressed out more often. So their life situation puts them in a different situation, a unique situation to that group. So it makes sense to say, hey, I help business owners lose weight. Or how about I help people in Florida lose weight? Well, that doesn't really make a lot of sense because losing weight in Florida is about the same as losing weight in Georgia, North Carolina, or California, or wherever else. So come up with your specific niche, but make sure that it actually makes sense. Because if you say something dumb like, I help white people in Florida to lose weight, then it's people are going to think, well, that doesn't really make sense. Like, why white people? Why in Florida? It's like, it, it's a arbitrary thing that doesn't apply to the topic, right? Whereas if you said, like, I help people, white people in Florida to have great skin, that would make sense because white people have different skin than black people and people in Florida are much more likely to get sunburned and skin cancer, etc., because of the, the hot temperatures. So think about whether it makes sense. So that was a super quick crash course on how to create your unique niche. If you like this, please let me know in the comments because I will continue this series step by step to build the entire one person business. But if you don't, then that's cool too. And I'll move on to some topic that you're more interested in. But stay tuned if you're if you are interested, stay tuned for part two, or if you're watching this a little while after I put it out, then look in the description and I will put the links to the other videos in the series should I decide to create them. And if you want a much more in-depth treatment of what topics you might teach in your one-person business, check out this video next.